in the Lakota way of prayer, which has by now become almost a global saying, Miniwachoni, they said. That has a lot of meaning, but a kind of shorthand is to say that water is life. Not only is water life, but water is also alive. So it has consciousness. The water is listening to us. And um, I had a phenomenon in my home in which water just started coming up out of the ground. And at one point it was coming up at eight gallons a minute. <laughs> so it was a lot of water. And I began to have to have this relationship with water like I never had before. Because I was very concerned that it would, it would flood, my, flood my house, right? And um, so we, we kept talking, and we kept coming into a dialogue, and um, eventually I was able to say to her, look, if you need to take my house, it's okay. You, you, you can have it, because there's something that you're trying to do. It's gonna make me cry. And there's something that you're trying to say, and there's something that my community needs for you to arrive like this. And so I will be um, with you, and I will be a protector of you, and so I can speak on your behalf, you know. And so this water and I were in this alliance. And I would tell it, you know, you can't flow this way because the neighbors are complaining that you're, you're making things too wet for them. And you can't flow this way because um, my storage shed is there. So I'd rather you don't go that way. You can't go this way because you're going to go into the street. And if you flow this way, then, uh, then you're going to come into my house. So I'm not really sure what you can do, but I just ask for your help, you know, because I have to go now and I'm doing something good. So, you know, anyway, so I leave and I come back, you know, two weeks, three weeks later, and I found that that water um, split in two directions and dropped down into the ground, into the earth. And um, that, that was her solution. And so this water began to, to talk to me about itself. <laughs> And um, it said, uh, it asked me to go and find this uh, larger body of water close by where I live and to go pray in it. And so I stood in this, in this uh, long lake and I was singing a, a prayer song with my drum over the water. And then that water started to give me some teaching and it told me, uh, it's good, daughter, it's good for you to pray into the water. Because when you pray into the water, it actually intensifies your prayer. So literally, you know that, that water evaporates, and so that water can travel through the clouds. So your intention and your words travel through the clouds, and they can go anywhere they want to go, right? So your prayer and this intention that you're setting can travel through the clouds, and maybe they're going to go and um, send a little snow down over the Andes. And, and so I could feel it, that the Andes would say, oh, my granddaughter, she's, she's praying. She's praying. She's saying good things, and she's asking for good things, and she's aligning herself with life. And so even the rest of the life, all of the jungle, etc., would be sharing in this intention. And so it was saying, so literally in that way, the water travels, and, and this consciousness that you're, that you're emitting in your prayer into the water begins to travel throughout the consciousness of this life on the earth. So it said, you know, it's really good good that you're praying. And then it said, um, and not only does it travel over space, but it travels through time. Because it's, it's always been the same water. Maybe as this uh, Mother Earth travels through the cosmos, we might be gaining some water. But nevertheless, the original water is still here because this is what we call a, a closed system, right? So that water just stays here. So we can know that every single person that you see, all of our ancestors had a drink from this very water. So it really does unite us and tie us all together in such a beautiful and graceful way. So one, yes, it's a call for respect, but also it's a call for rejoicing and like, look, look where we are. Look how magical this life is. And so we're just, we're just talking about one element here, water. And that's just one aspect of this element. So there's so much magic and mystery all around us if we have the eyes to see it. And if we have um, a way of listening for that teaching and that instruction. So uh, for me, the water is extraordinary and sacred.